The next option to get open for a shot is to reverse pivot or to drop step instead of the front pivot. There are different variations of scoring out of a drop step move, so let's take a closer look at the footwork needed. When you get the ball on the perimeter, you drop step with the inside foot and square up towards the basket. Align with your target and attack the basket. The drop step allows us to pull up for the jumper or to put the ball on the floor to create scoring opportunities from the baseline and in the lane. To train everything evenly, we'll go from both sides of the paint, but instead of taking 20 shots, like we normally do during practice, Malik will now only take 10 shots to speed it up a little. A good percentage here is around 60%, but it depends on the player's talent, of course. Malik should be able to go 6 of 10, though. First situation, drop step, Two dribbles towards the paint and jump shot. Ten shots or six makes. Let's go. Extend your elbow. How many do you have? Two of five? Okay. Two of four? Three of five? Four of six? Go up straight. Stay solid all the way, Malik. Five of eight. Five of nine. Six of ten. All right. Now we're going to take a three-pointer right after the drop step without putting the ball on the floor. When a right-handed shooter is on the far side and plants his left foot, he must make sure not to lift the pivot foot to avoid a travel call. Keep your pivot foot on the floor, then drop step and take the shot. Are you ready, Malik? Okay. We're going to go 6 of 10 again. Extend the elbow. Release the shot on the upward force of the jump. Nice. Don't get sloppy now. Extend the arm. You're two of five. Let's go. Three in a row. There you go. Now on the other side, too. Go up straight on the shot.
The drop step is extremely important for perimeter players to create a shot. Julius Jenkins and Casey Jacobson are two BBL players who use the drop step frequently to create a shot from three-point range or to lane to the rim. We just showed you the penetration into the paint. Now we're going to add two more options. When you penetrate and the defender cuts you off, you can counter with a spin move to get open and to create an open shot. Another option is to attack the baseline out of a drop step. Let's go, Malik. First option, reverse pivot, two dribbles towards the paint, spin move to the baseline and shoot. Let's go. Come out to the three-point line. Take another one. Stay smooth on the release. Extend the elbow. Yes. Take another one from the other side. Remember to keep the pivot foot planted until you put the ball on the floor. Players often make the mistake of lifting the pivot foot, but Malik just did a good job of avoiding that. When you catch the ball...